1. Question. What is API testing, and why is it important? Answer. API testing is the process of evaluating and validating the functionality of an application programming interface, API. It ensures that the API meets its requirements in terms of functionality, reliability, performance, and security. API testing is crucial because it helps identify issues early in the development cycle, ensures smooth communication between different software components, and enhances the overall quality of the software. 2. Question. Can you explain the difference between SOAP and RESTful APIs? Answer. SOAP, Simple Object Access Protocol, and REST, Representational State Transfer, are both communication protocols used in API development. SOAP is a standardized protocol with a strict set of rules, while REST is an architectural style that relies on a stateless client-server communication model. RESTful APIs use standard HTTP methods, GET, POST, PUT, DELETE, and are more lightweight compared to SOAP, which often uses XML for data exchange. 3. Question. What is an endpoint in API testing? Answer. An endpoint is a specific URL or URI. Uniform Resource Identifier, that an API exposes for communication. It represents a specific function or resource in the API. For example, in a RESTful API for a banking application, endpoints could include accounts, to retrieve account information or transactions, to get a list of transactions. 4. Question. How do you handle authentication in API testing? Answer. Authentication in API testing is typically handled using API keys, tokens, or OAuth. API keys and tokens are included in the API request headers to validate the identity of the requester. OAuth is an open standard for access delegation commonly used in web and mobile applications to allow secure authorization. 5. Question. What is the purpose of status codes in HTTP responses? Can you give examples of some common status codes? Answer. Status codes in HTTP responses indicate the outcome of a request. Examples include 200 OK. Successful request 201 created. Resource successfully created 400 bad request. Invalid request. 401 unauthorized. Authentication failure 404 not found. Requested resource not found 500 internal server error. Server error. 6. Question. How do you perform parameterization in API testing? Answer. Parameterization involves varying input values during testing to ensure the robustness of an application. In API testing, parameters like endpoint URLs, request headers, and payload data can be parameterized. Test data can be stored in external files or databases, and tools like Postman or Newman can be used for executing tests with different parameter values. 7. Question. Explain the difference between manual and automated API testing. Answer. Manual API testing involves human testers interacting with the API using tools like Postman or Curl, while automated API testing involves using scripts and testing tools to execute test cases. Automated testing is more efficient for repetitive tasks, regression testing, and handling large datasets, while manual testing is beneficial for exploratory testing and scenarios that require human intuition. 8. Question. What is Postman, and how is it useful in API testing? Answer. Postman is a popular API testing tool that simplifies the process of testing APIs. It provides a user-friendly interface for creating, managing, and executing API requests. Postman supports various authentication methods and parameterization, and allows the creation of test suites for automation. It is widely used for both manual and automated API testing. 9. Question. What are the common security considerations in API testing? Answer. Security is crucial in API testing. Authentication and authorization. Ensuring proper access controls. Data encryption. Using HTTPS to encrypt data in transit. Input validation. Protecting against SQL injection. Cross-site scripting. XSS, etc. Error handling. Implementing proper error responses without revealing sensitive information. 10. Question. 
How do you handle versioning in API testing? Answer. API versioning is important to manage changes and updates. It can be done through URL versioning, including the version in the URL, e.g., v1, resource, header versioning, specifying the version in the request header, media type versioning, incorporating the version in the media type of the request and response.